Welcome back to the Out Yonder. As always, Magic Mike right here, your host on this beautiful, gorgeous day. Today, we have hairstylist to the marginally famous and millennial extraordinaire, Kayla, in the house. How's it going? Hey. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. You're Happy good? to be here. It's nice to have you. It's a nice day. It's a little hot. It's a little, it's a little warm. It's February and it's already starting to heat up bad here. I'm, I'm not excited about the summer. Yeah. We'll see. We'll <laughs> see what happens. So, like, you're 21, right? Yes. Yes, I am. So, what's your deal? What's what's your deal? <laughs> what do you mean, what's my like deal? your whole generation. What's the deal? What's going on with you guys? Uh, you know, honestly, I couldn't tell you. The, uh, the generation after me is horrendous we're we're kind of almost oh so that see that right there is it like you guys just like take it and put it <laughs> we on just, somebody else just put it on someone else it's a All lot right. easier just to uh put it on someone else because my generation's pretty bad the one after it like i said is is absolutely yeah I'm, I'm not saying you're bad you're just <laughs> weird and confusing i just don't know what's going on fair it's enough like, you know, i either do i yeah <laughs> i have no idea what's going on yeah so you see this guy right here yep that's sure like do. that's what we're talking that's, about. That's my and generation. Me, like, that's your generation. Male that's and it. female. That's it. Male and female. That's it, right there. That's your generation. Say no more. That's my generation. Yeah. Yeah. So give me, like, give me some insight. Like, what do you guys do? Like, here's what I, I mean. You, like, you want, you want, like, all this respect and stuff, and yet you, like, live with your mom until you're 40 and, like, play video games yeah. all day. Yeah. So, sounds, sounds about right. Yeah. Um, that's, that's basically my generation in a nutshell. We we don't do much. We complain a lot. What do you do? What do I do? Um, I go to school and and I work. So you're gonna become a hairstylist. That's, that's what you do. Yeah, doing? that's the goal. Can you help me out? Yeah. Because like you know, I try and put some thought into things, you know. And right. uh, you know, my thought recently has been like, what if Cheech was the lead singer of ACDC? And that's kind of <laughs> what I'm cultivating right here. That's what's all right. going on. All right, I so, dig it. I'm with it. So what would you what would you do for me? <laughs> um, we could probably clean these up a little bit, take a straight razor to it, just make it real defined. Straight razor. That's yeah. a little passive aggressive. <laughs> well, how else would I would I clean it out? Just take a straight razor, clean it up a little bit. We can yeah. get you some Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan kind of look here. See, I had that. I had a handlebar mustache, but this doesn't grow anymore. Right. You know, for those of I had radiation treatment, so like my chin hair doesn't really grow anymore. So I used to throw this killer handlebar mustache but this is as far as it goes so why don't we instead of growing it down why don't we grow it out and then we'll just twist it no way man that's too much like uh, yeah that's too much sauce sauce <laughs> explain <laughs> explain to me sauce i don't even know how to explain it to you it's just it's part of the uh the, the lingo i guess with right. with my age group all right fair enough so like explain to me dudes because like but look at this guy. <laughs> you know, they grow all this hair and spend all their day in the gym. Uh-huh. You know, like really trying to cultivate this masculinity thing. Yet, once again, right. they live at home with mom to like 40. And then like you go out and you see them like sipping Chardonnay. And like a lot of the women next to them are drinking bourbon. And I'm not sure what's going on. It's, I'm confused. I mean, honestly, I couldn't tell you. I'm I'm single, so I couldn't tell you what's going on with dudes my age that's that's man it right bun, there right yeah man bun's kind of a thing they're yeah they're just growing beards out super and the super women long. hate it because i hear them talking God, about i can't it. stand it <laughs> so there's this whole weird passive aggressive and women are getting tattoos and the men don't like that no so like you, you guys are like just shooting daggers at each other right. while you try and i right. don't, i don't but like i mean yeah, yeah i mean myself i've got tattoos and i don't drink chardonnay i prefer whiskey Whiskey? Like, yeah, I like whiskey. <laughs> Who told you you could drink whiskey? You're 21, you should be drinking whiskey. It's bad for you. And men are growing ridiculous beards and putting hair in man buns and drinking Chardonnay and Sauvignon Blanc. Like, that, that's just what, that's what it is now. That's what it is. That's what it is now. I, I can't fix it. I don't even know where I would begin to fix it. Yeah. That's... I think we're beyond fixing. <laughs> I, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Cool. So what else is going on? You like you like, you've lived in many different places in the country that, at this point. That right? I have. How do you like this place? Um, it's definitely a change of scenery, but I I've grown to like it. I definitely didn't like it at first. Right. I actually hated it at first. Hmm. But um, now now I've I've grown to like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. 
Yeah, it's not too bad. It's different, but you've lived in like some pretty uh, extreme places, like out in the middle of nowhere. You live north. <laughs> lived in North Carolina for a bit, yeah. Yeah. Sure have. North Kakalaki. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That I have. But um, yeah, that was that was okay. Definitely wasn't wasn't good. Wasn't bad. Right. It was kind of right in the middle. Stayed there a little a little too long. All right. But that's but you moved on and you're doing something yeah. different. Now, what about your music scene? I don't get that either. My music scene. Like you guys listen to some stuff, like the EDM thing. I don't. Get oh that God, at all. no! I don't listen to EDM. EDM is. I don't know is, what's going on there, man. To me, it's just a bunch of sounds that give you headaches. Yeah. So like I like I've been to like around a lot of events. Right. And um, you go to these, you know, I don't understand everybody like going to a concert. Right. To watch like a DJ with his, and it's not even like a DJ. He's just there with like his laptop and yeah. a chandelier, and they all stare at the stage and like you know, and that's and that's like a thing. And I don't yeah. understand it. I don't. I don't necessarily understand it either. A lot of my friends. Well, do. I need answers. Because I don't. You're not, you're not I giving. Mean, you're not giving me any. I'm there's telling whole, you, my generation as a whole, like we we don't we don't have answers. We're just kind of existing. Yeah, you really don't have any like you know real social. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? You're not socially adept. Like, you know, no. there's no pleases or thank yous or excuse me's. Everything's kind of accepted. You open the door like you're walking. You open the door. You open the door like this much to slide through, even though there are people <laughs> behind you. There's no holding doors. There's no excuse. Like, you bump into somebody and you either get, uh, you say, I was taught to say, excuse me, pardon me, your generation. I say, excuse me. They go, mm-hmm. Or, you're good. Like, I needed acceptance from them like I was in the wrong right you know it's like no we're all in society we're all moving sometimes we get in each other's way and it's just like a greeting courtesy kind of a thing because we're like supposed to be yeah. connecting as a uh, civilization mm. instead of just like just sitting in the basement until something pisses you off and then you go out in the streets and hold up signs and right. say you're angry I mean I can't say much about that because I say you're fine if somebody bumps into me and they say, excuse me, it's I say only, you're it's fine. Not, it's not correct. No, I understand that it's not correct. And I'm correct, like a I guy think... who has, like, no concept of what the English language really <laughs> should sound like, but your generation sounds completely ridiculous compared to uh, me, which is very hard to do. Well, <laughs> I mean, I'm not that bad, um, but there, if you had a conversation with another 20, 21 year old the the words that they use you would be like what the hell are you saying there's words like boof what? boof is a word what that is, is boof? boof means like it it's bad it sucks boof boof yeah I'm not opposed to boof you like boof boof is kind of quirky and I you like, like that. it yeah I might well, start I said using sauce boof. And, and you you didn't understand sauce can be a little weird sauce can so you like know. when instead of saying like oh man your shoes are really nice you'd be like oh your shoes are saucy no, see, I don't like You don't that. like that. No, but but like you boof. like boof. Yeah, now tell me how you would use boof. Um, you would just say like, oh, that club was boof. If you went to a club and yeah, it Yeah, see, sucked. I don't like that. Oh, or yeah. you could say like, well, yeah, most most people in my generation, most of them smoke. So they would say, oh, like, that weed is boof. It sucks. Stuff like that. Yeah, on second thought, I don't like boof. Yeah, you don't like boof now. I like the, I like the idea of boof, but in in, in usage. In, in usage, it's, it's not like, it's not all that great. I don't use yeah. boof. I use whack. Whack. Yeah. Whack is kind of like that's old. That's like you weird. like you like whack. But whack is like an eighties thing. You know. I've said whack for I got it from when I lived in L.A. Hmm. I've used that for quite some time. Yeah. Whack. Whack. Yeah. Crack is whack. Crack. <laughs> crack is whack. Yeah, that's what that we used to is. say. That it is. That's what we used to say. Yeah. So, yeah. What else you got, man? What else is going on? Man, not So not you're going to finish school and then you're probably going to head back to LA maybe? Yeah, that's uh that's the goal. I'm uh I'm going to Elite Cosmetology School yeah. right now. And uh once I get my license, the goal is to go to LA and do your thing. And do my thing. Just hair is kind of My goal a was always to go to LA and do my thing. But um, L.A. didn't really accept me with open arms. So now I'm out here doing my thing. Well, if L.A. doesn't accept you, I don't think they'll <laughs> accept me either. They kind of do, but they kind of don't. Once again, even the adults have a passive-aggressive nature to them. So, you know, it's all like, oh, yeah, it's nice to see you. And they're, like, they're like, God, I hate that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's kind of everywhere that. now. I think so. 
It's kind of so. it's kind of weird. grown to be it's like the custom time. kind of thing. It's a yeah. Weird time. Yeah. I don't like it. I mean, like just the fact that the uh, the Eagles won the Super Bowl this week just tells you how weird of a time it is. Man, we're not even gonna get into that. No, that's I'm not. that's. I don't even watch football. That's a football different conversation. Either do anymore, I anymore, but it, it bothers me. It's troublesome to me. It's homoerotic. Could be. Just a smidge. Just about everything. Is, <laughs> Just right? about everything. I could find the homoeroticism in uh, lots of things. In everything. I can find homoeroticism in that right oh, there. Oh, there's a ton of it. In there's there. there's too much of that. That's okay. I know. You know, it's, <laughs> it's okay sometimes. I don't mind it. I'm an open-minded guy. All know, right. But uh, yeah. But there's there's a limit. Okay, we're being we're being a little. You know, we're gonna get in trouble for this right now. I mean, you can get in trouble for just about anything. So that's true. I'm already in trouble because I'm like you know I'm kind of a white guy. I'm not really, but I am. You know. All right. I you know I think the general society looks upon me as whites, but I don't think whites accept me. So. I feel it. Yeah. yeah. You do, yeah. 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 You're kind of in between too. I'm kind. I'm also kind of yeah, in between. Kinda, yeah. Yeah. We're like the, we're, white, but not quite white. We're kind of the lost. Uh, of uh, demographic and all we this. are everybody's got their thing but us uh yeah. us Sicilians mm. in the middle of everything we don't really have uh any any uh grievance right committed behind us we're we're kind of left in limbo here we are we are really we really are <laughs> we're, just, this is we're in limbo yeah we're too white for certain races but we're not white enough not white other enough. bases. So. I don't. So who knows? You know, no, nobody wants us. No. no. Gyp- I'm okay with that. We're the gypsies. I'm okay with not fitting in to one particular thing. Cause that's boring. Yeah, it is. That's... I agree. So we're cool. We're cool. We nice. Well, all right. That was pretty cool. Yeah. That was a good conversation. I think we entertained people and maybe raised a couple of questions. Hopefully. And uh, I'm sure some people will never <laughs> tune this in again <laughs> like, after this one. Screw these guys. Yeah, <laughs> never coming back. So we'll have you back soon. All right. All right. It was good to have you. Thank you for coming on. Thanks for having me. No, you're going to be like my go-to guy. Every time like a All guest right. bails on me like somebody did today, you're going to be my uh, my number two. I'll bring more heads. Maybe we can line Yeah, we can have some more we'll heads. Line them up. We'll have something going on next time you're here. I'll bring someone else. All right. That's cool. All right. All right. Well, thanks for being here. Thanks for helping out. Of course. And thanks for tuning in. And once again, if you'd like to be a guest or if you have a question for Ask Magic Mike, I want to do that segment real soon. So get me some more questions and uh, be creative about it and spontaneous and and, and irreverent. And I'll answer whatever you send in. Email address, T-O-Y-W-M-M at gmail.com. That is the initials of The Out Yonder with magicmike.com. Nice to see you again. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.